Hello everyone, and welcome back to Gary's Mod. And today, I'm going to be using some of my free time to explore some of the maps that you guys have most requested. The first of which is this one, GM Shambles. Now, for weeks now, you guys have been asking me to play this, and... Wow, I'm really digging this already. It's strange, because it seems to be just a normal suburban street, and it's got that dull orange glow from the streetlights that I've always found so comforting. But the ambient soundscape and lack of any lights in the windows are cluing me in that something isn't right here. This map is already getting to me. I feel so watched from these windows. It looks like these are boarded up with plywood, so that surprisingly makes it feel a little bit better, because I know nothing's watching me from here, but at the same time... What happened here? This map looked really normal and even comfy at a glance, but... This really doesn't feel right. Looks like there's an open space in the ground right here. Let's try the flashlight. Yep. Oh, it's definitely gonna want me to jump down there later. And it's not the usual spacious... It's like church bells, but there's no, like, rhythm to it. It's just going crazy. It sounds like it's coming from down this way. I don't like that dark expanse over there. Church bells have stopped, but there's lights on in that one house. And I don't like how abruptly those church bells stopped. It's almost like they were trying to lure me this way until I saw what I was going to see. It's almost like it's luring me to this house. See, this is... Okay, this is... I need to, I need to get under the streetlights. And you know, getting under streetlights, it, it shouldn't be comforting. It shouldn't be, because all it means is that anything around can see me, but I can't see anything that's around. But for some reason, it just is. Okay, where can we go? That house right there appears to be enterable. And I can just kind of barely see shafts of light maybe coming down from a porch light over there. It looks like there's an open window at that house across the street as well. This ambient soundscape is really bothering me. See, if I had started on this street, I would almost just think, okay, it's at night around dinner time. It's almost apocalyptic, but it's, an, it's apocalyptic in the way of, like, the rapture. Not a zombie apocalypse where everything is destroyed and stuff's thrown all over the place. It's like everyone just disappeared. Or I woke up and everyone left without telling me the reason. Okay, let's go barehanded for this. Or is that maybe not a good idea? Nope, not the not the fizz gun. It won't be scary if I keep reminding myself that I'm basically God in this scenario. Imagine, okay, how's this for a creative writing prompt? God creates humanity and goes to sleep for like a million years. And when he comes back, when he wakes up, he comes down to see his creation and can only walk through the remains of whatever apocalypse happened. Okay, so there is a backyard. This light is a bit too much for the lit areas. So, I'm sorry, when I stare out the back like that, I just expect something to come sprinting out of the darkness. Yeah, we're definitely going lights out for this. Old style bathroom. This seems, and it's not like I'm really super experienced with this type of architecture, but this seems like a British neighborhood. And granted, my only experience with that comes from stuff like Shaun of the Dead. 
what is this? What am I walking on? Is this something that's maybe openable? Alright, I assume that garage door will actually open. Not that I really have any need to do that right now. Let's head upstairs and see what we can see. And if we don't find anything up there, I'll try and open whatever that is. Now here's the part in the horror movie where the protagonist, or at least I hope the protagonist, ascends the winding staircase slowly. I really wish more map makers would put like an invisible mesh that is a ramp on top of the stairs. It doesn't matter that much in normal gameplay, but in VR it would help a lot. So we don't get that bumpiness. I don't like looking out into the darkness for too long. Anytime I do that, I almost anticipate a jump scare, even though it would be almost impossible for the map maker to put something like that in that would like so directly map onto the experience that I'm having. As we've learned, it's not impossible. It's not impossible for there to be some very well-placed jump scare that interprets, or not interprets, but rather anticipates the feelings of the player. You know, it really does feel as if I've woken up after some cataclysmic event. Yeah, there is real damage here. This house has been boarded up, but it looks like something knocked the door down inward. Which means whatever took it down came from the outside. Ugh. High ceilings make me really anxious. I don't know why. There is an open cellar door. I'll get to that last. Oh, there's a hole. This is actually a really, really nice yard. There's like a whole leveled garden going up. Alright, but no time for real estate shopping. I gotta figure out what's going on with this map. There's a fireplace. Okay, let's get upstairs. I can't help but notice that none of these houses are furnished. But they do have, like, basic appliances and stuff. I wonder if this is actually meant to be, like, an RP map? The ambient soundscape is really quite unnerving because... It's like a breeze constantly drifting through these open houses. But there's just the smallest hint of vocals carrying on them. Almost like a moan in the wind. <laughs> Imagine if another player was exploring at the same time and saw me up in this window. Uh, I just creeped myself out. Doesn't look like there's much of anything. Okay. I really don't like how... I mean, granted, I know this isn't a VR game, but I don't like how when I get close to things, or when I move my head around, the game interprets that as the player moving, and so it wants to adjust my position. It's a little bit annoying, and it breaks immersion a little bit. Is there anything up in this gazebo that we need to see before we go and check the cellar? Doesn't look like it. How creepy would it have been if I had turned around and there was somebody standing in that window? Alright. Let's just get down to that cellar so we can get a move on. There's a lot still on the itinerary. Hello. So there's nothing much to this cellar, but there's, like, a sewer entrance here. 
I know I should be checking out the other houses first, but I'm too curious. I have to jump down here. And it looks like it's going to want me to crouch. The things I do for you guys. I don't like this one bit. It's angled down and it's going into a flooded area. This probably connects to the sewers, right? Am I gonna have to go underwater? The ambient soundscapes have stopped, and now all I can hear is the dripping water. Oh, I don't like this at all. I feel like something's gonna breach the surface at any second. Okay, um... Okay, now presumably I can't breathe forever. One of you suggested there is a HUD mod so that I can look at my left wrist and see a HUD. I haven't gotten around to installing that yet. Oh, how did this get even worse? Okay, I'm gonna stand up. Uh, come on. Oh, it's up to like, it's all the way up to like my shoulders. I'm trying to like, Hold my arms up above the water. I actually, okay, this is so immersive that I actually feel like I'm trying to hold my head up above the water. I don't know what's causing me to move up and down. Am I walking, am I walking over something under here? Imagine if I turned that light around and I just saw the sh a humanoid shape just recede back. I need to stop I need to stop freaking myself out while I'm doing this. I really need that to stop being a thing. In fact, I think what I need to do right now more than anything is move faster. See, this part of the tunnel is lit. But there's a lot of different ways to go. This place has a whole sewer system. There's something over there. Fire, does that go to the surface? Yes, okay, okay, so we do have a way out right here. Happy to see this, but... What is all this? It's just an empty field. Okay, what happens if I go all the way to the fence? What a strange place. Now it's gone from feeling like just an abandoned town to... like something that doesn't even really exist in reality. I could have sworn I just heard just a single other footstep. What is this? Like a trench? It almost looks like it wants me to walk down here. There's some new ambient noises. Is that an owl? Is that what an owl sounds like? I honestly don't even know. Or some kind of dove? What's out here? I, I'm hoping this is just gonna be the invisible wall at the end of the map. Yep. Okay, I'm good with that. I'm good with that, I'm good with that, I'm good with that. I'm heading back now. It looks like there's something over there. Between the trees, there's like a black shape. What 
The light doesn't reach far enough for me to see it, but... Is there something hanging from that tree? Come on, light, please catch whatever that is. Light! Oh. Oh, it's a tire swing. A tire swing that's playing the screams of the condemned. I don't think I can reach it. <gasps> I want to get out of here. Where's the gap in the fence? It's right here? Okay. I don't particularly want to go back into the sewer. I'm going to see if these fences over here will take me to somewhere where I can get back. And of course there's a well. There we go. Oh, that's a long way down. That's something I'll be revisiting later. Now, if we enter the gate in the fence here, it looks like there might be some place we can re-enter the town right here. Yeah, here we go. Okay, we're back in town. Now what of this house right here? Ah, oh, there's a hole in the fence right there, but it looks like there's a little sign in that little pond. Let's go see what that says. Beware of the gnome. That's not ominous at all. There's like tiles scattered about. Oh, I see. They're like paving stones. It's like something broke in. Or out. But I can almost hear something. Like there's a little bit of like a ticking or something. You know what, I think it might be a fire burning. I think there's a fire burning somewhere. I really, so when you say beware of the gnome, that puts me a little on edge, not gonna lie. When you, when you establish something like that with something, even something as innocuous as beware of garden gnome, my mind starts racing. It starts thinking, what is this garden gnome? Is it real? More importantly, what does it look like? And is it watching me right now? That's the, that's the power of imagination in the face of something as simple as, again, a dumb little garden sign. Anything up in the attic? Once more, no, but there is one light on, shining a very ominous spotlight. See, that's the main thing, is if there's been some kind of unknown disaster, some unseen cataclysm that's forced everyone to leave. Why are the lights still on? That's the same that's the same thing that I experienced on RP Asheville. For some reason, in an apocalyptic setting, having the lights still be on is really unnerving to me, even though you would think it would be the opposite. Help with two L's. Okay. So, apocalyptic event confirmed now. Something happened. Okay, let's get inside then. This house in particular feels really wrong. I hear something. I hear like a sniffling. It sounds like it's maybe coming from upstairs. It's 
definitely very audible now. <laughs> I'm gonna get in the corner so I can try to read this. Fight or flight, mass hysteria as doom nears. <laughs> what does that say? There's those church bells again. This room has an abnormally high ceiling. Don't know why that's freaking out at me, freaking me out as much as it is. Freaking me out so much, in fact, that I can't even put a sentence together. There's a lot of different sounds really upping this. That's blood. There's something up with this house, that is for sure. I have to say, this house is some of the most tense I've been when exploring one of these maps. I was doing mostly alright, because I didn't really expect anything to happen, but... Now it feels like something might once I head upstairs, which is kind of why I'm putting it off. Another sewer entrance that's opened. What's back here? So this goes out onto the street. What is this? Oh, there's a basement. I don't think we've seen one of these yet, have we? But it's a realistic basement. It's just a concrete hole in the ground. Okay. Now there's nothing left to do but head upstairs. Actually, where is that staircase? I think we have to go out and around. Okay. If it's gonna do something with that ghostly sniffling, it's gonna do it up here. I'm sweating so much. It would be in that room. I can't even hear the sound in here. I can't even hear the sound in here. Okay, are we done here? Are we done here? See that... That was an excellent example of less is more. It just built up this feeling that something is wrong with this house in particular. And then I left, not really, not even with the satisfaction of a jump scare. Just with more questions than answers. Just going through those houses as the bells echo through the open windows and down the streets. It kind of adds almost to the liminal feel in a way. The idea that there's, at least in the way that it seems like there's someone somewhere. Like there has to be. It's the same thing as with the power being on. Like I'm looking around, I've traveled a long way, haven't seen anyone, but for all this to be happening, there has to be someone else. 
And the longer I go without seeing someone, the more I think those people know about me and don't want me to see them. There's just something so eerie about pictures of people in general, but mostly kids, who look like they were ambushed by the picture taker. Like they weren't prepared for a picture and kind of saw the photographer at the moment it was taken. That's a blood stain. See, something I noticed when I walked in is that there's plywood just piled up against the walls. Which, as we've seen, most of the houses on the block have plywood up over their windows. Now the story this tells here, with the blood stain and the plywood not on the windows, is that, and both of these possibilities are terrifying, either whoever lived here never got the chance to put the boards up? Or something convinced them to take the boards down? This map is doing a lot of horror through implications and unanswered questions. And, yep, something went down. Now here the unanswered question is, was someone dragged into the sewers? Or did something crawl out? There's another garden, but it looks like there's a whole... It looks like there's maybe several sheds up there, yeah. What a strange garden. I mean, it's cool, I like it. But it certainly does create a lot of blind corners for... shadowy figures to hide in. Well, this looks to be some kind of playset for kids. Hello? Are there any... Killer garden gnomes back here. Doesn't look like I can get around this way. I honestly, as I was walking down here, I really was dreading turning around. Because as a map developer, why would you create a corridor like this? Unless you were going to pull something like that. The answer is to build up anxiety in people like me. Doesn't look like there's anything here. Uh, besides another sewer entrance. Although this one you can at least exit. I have a hole underground still to explore. There's another one of these fields. It looks like it just goes on forever. This almost makes the town feel safe by comparison. And out here there's nothing. What's down here? I can just barely see the shapes of structures against the sky. Some kind of mountain of hay bales? Wow. I'm getting spooked by the sounds of people walking around in my own house. I really dislike things like this. It's just a bunch of barriers and walls that create a bunch of shadows as I'm trying to look around the corners. Let's get back and explore that house. I don't like being out here. I really, really don't. Okay, we're back in town, and we're going to check out this one last house. It seems the occupants were a little more successful in boarding up. Once again, we have a destroyed wall, almost like this town was attacked by something that
came in from the fields and up through the sewers. See, the creepy thing about this is that if we go with the idea that something came in from outside and broke down walls and knocked down doors and up through the sewers, the fact that they had time to board up and do all this suggests that people knew whatever it was was coming. But everything they did to prepare just didn't work. But at the same time, like, everyone's gone, but there's so few signs of violence, except for a few examples here and there. And it just makes me wonder what caused all this and what happened to the people that were here. Now, instead of climbing down where the bloody drag marks were, I'm going to come in through here because I can see a little bit of a grate that suggests maybe there's a little bit of a different structure here. We'll remember that the sewer entrance would be, like, in that direction. Alright. This is a little tricky in VR. Yep, 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 yep. We're okay, we're okay, we're okay. There's a little bit of a platform here before going down to the concrete below. Actually, this looks like it should be a fair bit deeper than the rest of the sewers. What is all this? Ugh. This is odd. And I don't like it one bit. Sorry if I don't have much to say, but... I'm just kind of taking in the ambiance. The the soundscape that was unnerving me so much above, and there really is only so much of that that I can take in a single video. It was bothering me so much, but down here, that's gone, which is almost kind of relieving. But then there, the fact that the only soundscape here is the dripping water, I'm kind of of two minds about that. It's like it's comforting in one way, but more disturbing in another. And I'm just trying to walk along the sides here so that I splash as little as possible. Now I think over here would be where those drag marks led. Oh, I'm climbing up this time. Yeah, this is where it, this is where those drag marks were. But it doesn't look like there's anything of note here in particular. All right, sliding back down. Now I think this is the crossroads we were at before. Which I mean, yes, that's the that's the entrance that goes out to the field, which means the opposite way would be right here and I can't help but notice that down this tunnel there's no light whatsoever. Oh, I don't like this. Anticipation levels rising. something over here. There's like a flashing light. What an, again, what an odd structure. I can't, that was written on the newspaper in the haunted house. Far to, far to Maticatron rid this? Wait, F Fartomaticatron did this. I have no idea what that means. 
Is there any way out of here through here? No, it just goes farther. There's no way to climb up. Maybe I can run up that ramped slope. That's about the only thing I can think to do. Oh wait, there is a ladder there. Okay, let's go. Up and out. Oh, there's just another level to the sewers. Dead end. Oh, there's so much more than meets the eye to this map. Right now, my only goal is that light at the end of the tunnel. I'm assuming that each of these drains that I can actually go down just leads to a different backyard. And I'm starting to be able to resolve there's a ladder going up that way. And even more tunnels going in other directions, unfortunately. My duty is to explore this map. I can't climb that just yet. I have to go down the other way. But then again... If this goes up to something I've seen before, then I can come back down and immediately take that other tunnel. I don't know what this would be, though. Oh, that's fast. That's very fast. Where am I? I haven't seen this street before. Hang on, I'm stuck. There we go. Oh, this must be around the corner from where I started? No. This is a completely new place I haven't seen before. And this street is just a dead end and a brick wall. Between the streets that just end like this, and the expansive fields that just go out into an endless void, and the strange, like, paranormal but impossible activity, like the lights still being on or the church bells ringing despite the absence of any people or any even church that I can see, this is starting to feel less like an apocalypse and more like some kind of personal purgatory. Look at that. The road just slopes downhill off into nothing. Like this whole thing is making it feel now like this whole thing is some kind of punishment for me. I think this must be... I'm trying to establish where I am in relation to what I've already seen. I'm hoping that when I come down this way, I'll look to the left and see those construction barricades. No, it just ends here. Well, in that case, I have no idea where I am. There's a light on in some of these houses. There's a sign on that house that says safe. But how can there be a whole street here that I haven't even seen a hint of yet? Well, if it says safe, I suppose all I can do is take its word for it. Every small creak of my floorboards in real life is startling me. Okay, so these aren't boarded and the door's been kicked in, so I guess it's safe from the front but not the back? Definitely not safe from the back.
Is this all still the same house? No. No, this is the house next door. Crawl space? This is kind of a realistic feature, but so unnerving to be included in a map like this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, my phone just vibrated and scared the absolute crap out of me. Oh. 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 Oh, I don't even know if you'll be able to hear that. Oh. You guys don't understand. I've been at this for almost an hour. I'm sweating buckets. Partly out of fear, partly out of the fact that it's 80 plus degrees in my room despite it being early October. Oh, oh my heart. Oh. What's up here? Something didn't go well for these people. How did I not notice this before? From outside. This place truly is dead. But it looks like we have a shortcut available to us. We can drop down into the neighbor's property. See, a common theme seems to be that people barricaded their properties and then those barricades were subverted in ways they didn't expect. I almost got scared by that sign. From a distance it almost looked like there was something hunched behind the leaves of the tree. Shambles way. Alright everyone, I'm sure there's plenty that I missed and didn't see. I know I didn't go in every house, but... This map creates such an atmosphere of dread and anxiety and uncertainty. It's all in such a subtle way that, like I said, it has actually started to make me feel like... This couldn't be anything rational, any kind of mundane apocalypse. It almost starts to feel as if it is some kind of personal purgatory designed for me. Like some kind of punishment. But there's nothing left for me to do but check out this well. The, the thing is, I've been recording for over an hour and all of it does really wear on you. To the point where there's only so much I can take, so... There's nothing left to do but... See what's down this well. <sighs> okay, so now I gotta figure out how swimming works in VR. Oh, this is the image you see when you've made a mistake. Oh, <laughs> there's the gnome. Found you, gnome. You hear that? Oh, he's below the floor for me. Hang on, I gotta go up and get air. Anyway, I'm gonna end it here. Uh, if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.